Driving fast, rolling through stop signs, we see it too often in our area, and it especially is true in high foot traffic areas in the city. As store owners rebound from the pandemic, people bringing more people in, safety is paramount. And our Dion Braxton joins us live from one area where businesses are begging city leaders to do something. Dion? Corey, we're on Antique Row on Cherokee right now, which is quiet right now because these businesses are closed. But when these businesses are open, you will see a lot of foot traffic around here. And people who live and work around here say sometimes cars drive through this intersection right here. So they want to see speed bumps placed on this street to get, traf to get cars to slow down. But city leaders say that speed bumps are in high demand right now. Jeremy Miller co-owns Dead Wax Records on Antique Row on Cherokee in South City. The foot traffic is great. The traffic in general supporting the businesses is great. But he says sometimes the car traffic poses a threat because of the blooming trees on Cherokee Street. You can't see some of the storefronts or you can't see the addresses, so you're relying on your phone to navigate for you and you roll through a stop sign. First Alert 4 captured a driver doing just that. If you look around or down, you might notice a quick fix popping up around St. Louis neighborhoods. The St. Louis Board of Aldermen has introduced not one, not two, but nine bills this year to put in dozens of speed humps. A speed hump is pretty obvious. Even if you don't see it or you don't know how it works, it works for you, right? Miller is asking city leaders to put them on Cherokee. We are seeing an enormous number of folks just demand that cars Go slower. Kara Spencer represents the ward that Miller works in. And on Cherokee, um, I've requested um, the street department uh, take a look at what we can do as far as speed humps on the eastern side of Jefferson there. Another part of Spencer's ward is seeing progress. <laughs> Crews recently installed humps around Pontiac Square Park in Soulard, and a bill Spencer is sponsoring would put another 60 in the area. But Spencer says the city needs to finally get on board with creating a multi-year traffic plan like other large cities. The city is in the process of getting that done so people like Miller can feel more comfortable crossing streets in the city. I think this is a pretty hands-off approach to making things safer. Some of the speed hump bills are moving through the Board of Aldermen and others have passed. As for the bigger fixes, the city is working on getting speed cameras back to the area and the city is also exploring re-engineering streets. These are bigger projects that might take some time. Corey, Sam. All right, Dan Brock.